Teacher Melinda and today for vocabulary we will look at the topic synonyms. Let's recap because synonyms is one of those topics that you would have been introduced to before ever since grade 3. So this is just a recap. What are synonyms? Synonyms are words that have similar or same meaning. Simple. Synonyms, once their meanings are understood, can be used to enhance your writing, speech, and comprehension skills. So once you understand the meaning of synonyms, then it benefits you as a learner and even as adults too. It helps you to enhance your writing skill, your speech, and also comprehension. So I have some examples for you. Maximum, the synonym for maximum is most. The synonym for reluctant is unwilling. So we can say, John is very reluctant because he doesn't like going out early in the morning. So what are we saying about John? That he is simply unwilling because he doesn't like going out early in the morning. Then we have another pair, sufficient and enough. Sufficient and enough. So synonyms are those words, if I should remind you, that have similar meaning. And once you understand the meaning of a particular word or a pair of synonyms, then it will help you as a learner or even as a grown-up to write, express by speech, or comprehend when someone speaks or whenever you read so we have another example vacant or void simply meaning to be empty muscular or robust meaning that it is evident that someone when you look at that maybe a male or a female and most times the word muscular or robust is associated with males but of course there are some females who are muscular and also robust because they do bodybuilding. Next we have adversity or misfortune. It simply means that something bad has happened to someone. Anonymous and unknown. Anonymous simply means that it is not known, it is unknown. So sometimes we do poetry in school and at the end of the poem, instead of seeing the name of the poet, you see the word anonymous. That's simply because the author or the poet is unknown. Disperse, this is one of the words we use in science, especially when we look at seeds and how we get new plants. This is one of the methods by which we get new plants when seeds are dispersed by dispersal or when they are scattered. Edible, all right, we have some plants that are edible. It means that we can eat them or it can be consumed. Edible. All right, next we have the synonym, excavate with the other word that means simply excavate to dig. So we can use this word if we want to talk about those who are doing mining in the interior those who dig, if we want to say dig for gold or diamond, the better word to use is excavate, especially 
if big machineries are involved. Then we have indolent. Oh my goodness. Some folks are very indolent. It simply means lazy. Some folks, yes, boys and girls, we have some who are very lazy. Not that they don't have the energy to do stuff, but they just take on that kind of attitude or persona, as we would say. Then the opposite of that, of course, we're not doing opposites, but to bring it on with another way, we say industrious. So if you're not indolent, since we're not doing opposites, but I'm just showing you that in synonyms, there are words that have meaning. And once we understand the similarities, then we can use them to enhance our writing, our speech, and even our comprehension. So industrious tells us that you are hard working or you're diligent at what you do. Industrious. Invincible. Ah, we have some invincible sportsmen and women in this country. They are unbeatable. They set records and someone or no one simply can't get or achieve that record. So we say that the sportsman is invincible or unbeatable. Then we have obstinate oh obstinate synonym for obstinate is stubborn stubborn and then we have pandemonium pandemonium means chaos uproar confusion so all these words are synonyms they carry the same meaning or they convey the same meaning pandemonium means the same as uproar pandemonium has a similar meaning as chaos and confusion is the same as pandemonium then we have prohibit 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 and forbid are two synonyms it simply means you cannot interfere or you cannot use it is prohibited or forbidden then we have rural in Guyana, we have rural areas, rural or countryside. And then we have vanquish or conquer. So boys and girls, synonyms are those words that help us to do what? Comprehend and also write and also speak in a better way once we understand its use and meaning. So I have a little activity for you boys and girls to do. Of course, this one will allow you to give the synonym for the word that I will highlight. So we do this together. I will read a sentence. I will say which word it is and then you will give the answer. Of course, I will not hear you, but I trust that you will give the answer or say it aloud to yourself, or even if you cannot, you get someone to help you once there is help around. So one, the workers in the factory are very diligent employees. So the word in that sentence is diligent. And so for us to give the synonym for diligent, you will say what it is. The workers in the factory are very diligent employees. So what synonym can we use for diligent? boys and girls I am sure you said hardworking or you said industrious very good excellent next we have another sentence it says the fire caused pandemonium in the city 
the fire caused pandemonium in the city. The word in that sentence is pandemonium that you will give the suitable synonym for. So I'll say it again. The fire caused pandemonium in the city. And so, yes, I just can imagine some of you shouting chaos, confusion. Yes, pandemonium has its synonym and that is chaos or confusion. And yes, there's another one, uproar. So the fire caused chaos in the city or the fire caused an uproar in the city or the fire caused confusion in the city. Next sentence, industrious children always excel. So the word in that sentence is industrious. Imagine hearing boys and girls screaming, hard working. So those hard working children always excel or diligent children always excel. And that is so true. That is true. Next sentence. All the development is taking place in the rural areas. All the development is taking place in the rural areas. In that sentence, the word for which you will give the suitable synonym for is rural. Can I imagine again? Yes, boys and girls. I can imagine hearing you shouting it out or saying it quite softly if you don't shout. Countryside. So let's listen to this. All the development is taking place in the countryside or in the country areas. Simply meaning out of town. Next sentence, the police pursued the thief through the busy street. The police pursued the thief through the busy street. In that sentence, the word that you will give a suitable synonym for is pursued. Because you are thinking and also because you are picturing in your mind you can already give the word for pursued which is the synonym for it what is that word chased so the police chased the thief through the busy street and so there we have our little activity so boys and girls I want to ask you to do some extra work. Synonyms are there for you to learn. And so I encourage you to take a book, do some research, or use your dictionary and let it help you to find words that have similar meanings, which are synonyms in pairs or 
more than pairs and then you can write that list and use those words in sentences of your own so that as you use them you become more acquainted and you will have fun and become confident as you use synonyms. Have fun as you work with synonyms. Thank you and see you next time.